With the Christmas season and all that goes with it fast approaching, we wanted to get some expert advice about the important stuff. What wine should we look for when entertaining? And that expert is here now. Welcome to the cafe, award-winning winemaker and New Zealand Wine Society judge, Joe Gear. Hi. And it's so good to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing the bubbles, which we'll get to a little later on. First of all, though, how did you get into winemaking? A whole combination of things really. My father used to brew, well, make wine in the basement at home when we were children. So I learnt from a fairly young age that you could make alcoholic beverages from pretty much any fruit and vegetable that was lying around oh, and nice. sometimes they were drinkable. <laughs> uh, and then I worked for trade marketing um, for Corbin's and, um, and I went down to Hawke's Bay to the Long Ridge Winery there and worked to harvest and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with the, the excitement of harvest, the boots and all approach of winemaking, the teamwork and, and the precision of chemistry. All working with a horticultural crop. I loved it. And you obviously love wine I too. Do. I do. <laughs> do you think it's harder as a woman in winemaking? You know, because you know, there's not many winemakers mm. that are women. It's true, but I don't think it's any harder for a woman. I think if you're prepared to do the work, you're prepared to put in the time, um, listen, learn, forgo good teeth, and then I think anybody has a good chance. <laughs> and there's a lot to learn about wine, isn't there? Which is why you are here. You've won a lot of awards. What ones are you most proud of? Oh gosh, um, that's like choosing between my children. <laughs> I love them both, Izzy and Emma. Um, uh, I, I recently, uh, the Hawkesbridge Reserve Chardonnay got the top award in cuisine, and that was a fantastic achievement. Um, cuisine's really hard to get a good endorsement in. Um, Chardonnay is so much fun to work with, and she's very kind to us winemakers, so I felt very proud doing nice. her well. And Chardonnay drinkers are so particular about things too, so. That's me. I'm a, yeah. I'm a Chardonnay drinker, oh, so thanks so much for bringing me a bottle of that. No, no, you didn't. Okay. Something else. <laughs> what do you think makes an award-winning wine? You know all about oh, it. So what do you think makes it? Um, I know what makes good wine, and that's balance. And I know what makes a good wine industry, and that's sustainability across the supply chain, from the grower to the pruner to the person who stocks the shelves to the retailer and the consumer. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, awards are wonderful, but I think if you start with making good, honest wine that we all enjoy, enjoy drinking, then something will come for the pool room sooner or later. <laughs> a lot of people rave about the New Zealand Wine Society. What's yes. your involvement? Well, New Zealand Wine Society sources wine from all over the world, as well as partnering with local wineries and growers and producers. Uh, I make wine for the New Zealand Wine Society, as well as coordinating the tasting panel, where we taste everything blind before we buy it, and to ensure that it reaches a bronze medal standard or higher, and if it does, it goes into our cellar. So we want to make it easy for our consumers and our customers to, to simplify wine. There's a plethora of wine out there. It yes. can be very confusing. Mm. Um, so yeah, we try and, try and make it easy. Brilliant. So we're entertaining lots at this time of year. Apart from just going and getting the wine with the awards on it, the medals on it, what's your top tips for entertaining with wine? What should you do? What should you go for? Well, I've got to say awards are great. I think they're really handy. You know, it gives you some confidence that, you, that someone somewhere, a wine expert, has said, yes, this is really great wine. But at the end of the day, you know what you like and you know what you like. We're our own wine judge. So try something new and take a moment when you pour it into the glass to give it a good sniff and put it in your mouth and hold it there for a few minutes and then swallow it and think about you know how it feels and tastes and do I like it and if you do great and if not pop it into some ice cube trays into the freezer and use it for sangria or risotto. Oh. Ah, and also you've got a 100% taste guarantee at Absolutely. the um, NZ Wine Society yeah. which I love. Okay how should we open this because I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So most champagnes or metho traditionals as we have in New Zealand have a little tab here so you Undo that and okay. take off. The no eyes are to be taken out or lighting. <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah. Now, the secret is you must keep your finger on the top. This mm -hmm. is called the mucilage, so keep that down. Unscrew it. Oh, it's so it. romantic, isn't oh, it? All isn't it? Yeah. Loosen it off slightly, but don't take it off. Yes. Hold oh, it down. Right. And then hold the top and screw the bottom. All oh, oh. right. So and then you'll screw the cork, don't Absolutely. They? And yeah. you'll feel it pushing, and you can push back, and then here it comes. Now, uh, it should, uh, oh, I didn't should not, it. should not do that. <laughs> so we should <laughs> hold it down and then eventually the bubbles will subside. So it doesn't go everywhere. That's Look right. That. Now, no, someone told me something along the lines of it should um, sigh like a lazy lady, not pop like a 
tart. Is that, <laughs> goodness me, is I that good true? <laughs> <laughs> I think we, I think we did a sigh. It's it was good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to go. Thanks so much, Joe. And if you want more great advice from the wine experts, head to the New Zealand Wine Society website, nzwsociety.co.nz. Thank you, Joe. Yes, You're thank welcome. you, Joe. I don't think they'll be taking up your slogan though. Okay. <laughs>